Sunday storms were the only thing to cause quite a stir in this neighborhood. A day later, people are still talking about the explosion at this building. Now you can take a look how close this was to a business and then several homes down this street and then homes just next door. We don't know yet how this explosion happened, but we do know that this building here housed an illegal weed operation. It was like, how, you know, remember like how the world trace in the blue, they was running it. That's how it was in there. 24 hours after a chaotic afternoon in the 16,000 block of Schoolcraft Road, Detroit police and fire departments returned to the building they say exploded Monday. Cop cars, fire engines, and caution tape surrounded the intersection. Several masked firefighters walked inside the blown out building to search for clues which could solve the mystery of how it happened. I see people run up butt naked. They didn't have no clothes on. At first it was a big explosion. We thought it was thunder. And the next thing you know, they came out hooping and hollering. This neighbor told Fox 2 he was forced to leave his home after the blast. Everybody could have got hurt. Yep. It was, a, it was a bad explosion. I hate for it to happen, you know, but things, things happen for a reason. This Google Maps image shows how the building looked before the explosion. Afterwards, the impact charred the front and shattered windows with insulation from inside laying outside. Someone's shoes were several feet away. Police are working to find out how long people use this commercial building for a criminal weed enterprise that's now up in smoke. That was crazy, I must admit. I never saw nothing like that. Not blowing up in my face, you know. You saw in that cell phone video several people frantically running out of that building after the explosion, but at this time, police have not made any arrests. On Detroit's West Side, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.